St. Peter and Paul's church was built by the Jesuits in the 17th century. They were expelled, returned and expelled again when the Soviets took over after the war. Today its Greek Catholic congregation is fearful of what the next chapter in Ukraine's history will look like. It's still called a garrison church and the welfare of Ukraine's army is a priority for the parishioners. These are ground sheets for the troops. Now we are uh, like renew our forces. We renew our spirit, and now we are going to fight for our freedom. You said you've had support from uh, Irish priests. Yeah, we had, uh, and I want to I thank uh, thanks to Father Bernie Costello and Michael Sullivan from Berlin and Slow. But the war will not stop the landmark moments of life. Ola and Andri were quietly married in the church this morning with just a few friends and relatives. Do they hope to raise a family in a free country? Our country is independent, always will be independent, and nobody or nothing will change that. But this old Habsburg city is gripped by fear of a Russian attack, so volunteering is not just about feeding and clothing refugees from the east, it's also about building defences. This brewery has converted itself into a factory for making Molotov cocktails. It's kind of easier for us because we are a brewery, so we know how to handle uh, material. Uh, we know what it means, uh, how important it is to uh, keep everything safe uh, for people who make it clean and uh, fire safe as well. In fact, makeshift factories like these are springing up all over Ukraine as part of a burgeoning grassroots resistance. One third used oil, this volunteer explains, two thirds petrol and, he says, melted styrofoam so it will stick to Russian tanks. But this is what living in Ukraine in 2022 feels like. Fear, resistance and normal life.